Converting Moles to Atoms Part 1 by Mr. Thiel All right, so here we have a problem that asks how many atoms of aluminum are in 2.75 moles of aluminum. So like all of these problems, I think it is helpful for us to take a look at what we are given. So we are given 2.75 moles of aluminum. We look at this diagram that we got out of our textbook up at the top. We have a starting point here of moles. So we're given an amount of our, our particular element in moles, 2.75 moles of aluminum. And it, also, it is also helpful to make sure we understand where we need to get to with this problem. Or in other words, what are we asked to find? So we're asked to find atoms of aluminum. So we have a place up here in our diagram as well for atoms of aluminum. So now we have a pathway to follow to get from moles to atoms. So uh, what we will do first, as we uh, tend to always do in this type of problem, is we will take what we are given and write it in fractional form. So we're given moles of aluminum. So that's 2.75 moles of aluminum over 1 to make it a fraction here. And if we take a look at our pathway up top, if we take our given number of moles of an element, and we multiply that times 6.022 times 10 to the, to the 23rd atoms of that element over moles of that element, that will give us, uh, that will lead us into finding the numbers of atoms of that element. Remember, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is a special number called Avogadro's number, and it represents the number of particles or the number of objects in one mole of a given uh, substance or a given thing. So in the case of elements, when we are talking about uh, the number of particles in an element, we are talking about the numbers of atoms in that element. So if we take the moles uh, of our element and multiply it times Avogadro's number, that will give us the number of atoms in that particular element. So we follow this pathway. We write out 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum per every one mole of aluminum. Now writing it this way allows us to cancel out moles of aluminum. Uh, so we have, whoops, I'm getting ahead of myself here a little bit, excuse me. Uh, so we have moles of aluminum. We'll cancel out here when we run this math. And then we run through our math, and that will allow us to end up with atoms. Run through the math now, and we have 1.65605 times 10 to the 24. Now, this number is, has too many digits. Uh, we don't, we're not justified in claiming uh, to have six significant figures, which is what this number has. So we take a look at the numbers that we started with. We have 2.75 moles of aluminum. That has three significant figures. And Avogadro's number, we have rounded here. Uh, you can see here in the numerator, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. That has four significant figures. So we have to go with the smaller number, which is three significant figures. And that would round our answer to 1.66 times 10 to the 24 atoms uh, in 2.75 moles of our substance. And this number is uh, a logical number because we have about almost 3 moles, a little less than 3 moles uh, of our particular element. And 6.02, we multiply that times uh, 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times a little less than 3 would be a little less than 18 rounded. Um, and so our number 1.66 times 10 to the 24th in that sense is logical and makes sense. We have a little bit more than uh, we have about twice, as, or excuse me, a little bit less than three times what we would see in one mole, uh, the number of atoms that we have here. So we have 1.66 times 10 to the 24 atoms of aluminum in 2.75 moles of aluminum. And we are through with this particular problem.